people. Eleanor Rigsby. You say I'm blabbing. Eleanor Rigsby. Hey, we'll go back to our stupid Rex of course. <laughs> Eleanor Rigsby. Yeah, Rigsby. Mm. Uh, exact, uh, what do you call words to songs? <laughs> <laughs> Those are often referred to as lyrics, <laughs> Corbin. Ah, yes, yes. 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 That's, that's also what words I call them. Words and songs are lyrics. Today we got a video. This is called Virat Kohli. My wife, Anushka Sharma. <laughs> my wife. My wife. He just speaks like Borat talking it about does. My wife. My wife. Very nice. Very nice. She likes to make the sex. Used to make uh, the sexy with the round of ear, but not now nice. makes it sexy with the me. <laughs> <laughs> I like the cricket because of the balls. <laughs> Very nice. I think you need to work on your Borat. I do need to work on my Borat. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so he's just this is an interview and him talking about I think a little bit of how they about met. about his wife and, Anushka Sharma, uh, who is apparently also a famous actress. Yeah, that was a joke. Well, we clearly, know who, we clearly know not Anushka you. Is. We have a music video in which Corbin raps. Don't talk about my wife. It's true. I was like, man, when are we ever gonna go to a place where we don't get noticed at all? Yeah, that's uh, Anushka. Uh, what people in the states would not know is that Who's you this guys white are the celebrity it couple here. <laughs> and what's the nickname they have for you, Ver Ver Verushka? Verushka. 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 Uh, yeah, combined Virat and Anushka, they made it Verushka. Yeah. Uh, how did you guys meet, and how did you go about asking I, her out? Why do I know him? <laughs> He's just a standard so we white met guy. At um, a commercial shoot for a shampoo. And, um, as you all, as, I as everyone my does. My manager is um, Bunty. He he told me so. You have this. His manager is Bunty. And it was it was a it was a known brand uh, called Clear, um, Clear Shampoo. And I was like, great, sounds good. This sounds exciting. And I was like, who is it with? And then he's like, it's with Anushka Sharma. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> you you got to be joking. Uh, he said, no, I'm serious. I was like, how the hell am I going to be in a frame with a professional actor? I'm going to look like a fool. I have no idea how to do this. And then he's like, you'll be fine. Don't worry. It's a, it's a nice script. It's all fun and games. And I was like, okay, fine. And then the first time I met her, I cracked a joke immediately, you know, with her. And then... Were you nervous? I was very nervous. And that's why I cracked a joke, because I didn't know what to do. And, um, you know, I was I was standing on set and I was being all nervous and, and jittery. And then she came in and I was like, um, yeah, I just cracked a joke in front of her. And then Do you yeah. remember what you said. Yeah, I remember what I said. Um, <laughs> I can't say it. I, I was actually I thought I was being funny, but I just said said something which wasn't probably the right thing to say because I she she's she's tall as well. And she was wearing and she was being told that I'm not that tall. I'm not like six feet plus or something like that, and you must not wear like massive heels or anything. So she walked in with this much um, height of heels, and and I saw her, and she was looking taller than me, and I was like, uh, "Didn't you get a higher pair of heels than this?" And she was like, "Excuse me," I was like, "No, I'm just joking." <laughs> so my joke actually became, you know, quite a, a weird moment for myself. I, I behaved like such a fool, to be honest. And she was so confident because. <laughs> You know, she's she's on set regularly, and I was just like... Oh, I bet it was uncomfortable the, for him. How the hell am I going to yeah. do this? But yeah. Uh, it was a shoot that went across three days. Um, it's a long commercial. Different times, and then slowly she realized, because she's also from a very similar background as me. Um, yeah. So <laughs> middle-class families, um, made it in their respective careers, um, worked hard, got to a certain stage. So actually, in hindsight, when we look at our lives... They were going at the same pace, but in totally different worlds. The timelines of my debut, August 2008, the timeline of her uh, starting her first film shooting was 2008, August. Ah. Oh. Same year we, you know, came into the scene. I think that's Ryan Veer's first film as well. We didn't know until 2013 we met, and then our life has been so similar. Maybe I'm wrong. In totally different worlds. And then we got along so well because we were talking real things and, you know, we were Delta talking things Nadeau? that a lot of people don't connect with. Um, we haven't seen only it Only if you've seen oh, that life, you'll understand what uh, we're talking about. 
so the connect was there immediately and then we became good friends and then yeah things went on from there wait so how did you ask her out the first time good question um it was quite like very traditional you know we would go out for meals and um yeah we just spend time with each other and then eventually i mean you, you didn't really have to ask um out I, i guess because both of us knew that we like spending time with each other and then yeah things i i don't even that's what the kids call talking any time when we thought of okay this is the transition that's happening it was so organic and natural yeah. talking and becoming like friends stronger and stronger and stronger and then we knew that we just wanted to be with each other we were talking a bit about this in the car but what do you think you each have learned from one another well that's the no. one thing that people don't register and i don't think they they register till date is that when you when you are with someone who's been at the same level as you in terms of being in the public eye understanding the pressures of situations they understand you so well and you can literally speak to them about whatever's going on in your mind because they know exactly what you're saying and similar for her as well so the fact that we understood each other's situations the pressures um the things that we were dealing with it just i mean we we absolutely love spending time with each other and we just had such a strong connect and as as gagan mentioned whoever meets us they immediately tell us you know we can feel your connection it's not even like we are wanting to present something in front of people but it's just organic it's just natural we're like we literally like as it should be you know each yeah. other's best friend yes and we love hanging out with each other and the the comfort of being able to share anything with your partner i think is the most amazing thing what if she hated we cricket we learned <laughs> um different things from each other i learned a lot of you know things of acceptance things of working on myself things of um you know just looking at the the world in a different manner uh not being closed as a person and she's learned a lot from my life as well just you know in terms of motivating yourself working hard on things and we've just kept learning of each other all the time how do you propose so the proposal was um <laughs> Again um it just happened very organically i mean we we've never I want to tell you one small instance about when he told us that he's getting married uh-huh. so obviously he had been with her for so many years and we knew they were going to get married because they were in love and they were still in love obviously but they were so close to each other and we knew this was this was bound to happen so we just call everyone we have a friends group on whatsapp and we messaged everyone that come home and we thought it was a general message of us getting together like how we used to hang out with each other and we get to his house and um is it actually and then he said the guy that want to talk to you guys about something and uh, we go yeah so what's up he said i'm getting married he said yeah we know he said but in two months and we were like what <laughs> it was obviously the one of the biggest weddings that had happened in india because anushka sharma getting married to virat kohli and massive stars and so basically the so basically the plan was all they had only 2 months to plan that thing that's probably pretty common in india figured out the location they only had and everything 2 months he mentioned it pretty that's, that's small really that we yeah. have to keep it confidential and there was no other way around it and you guys and went to italy right yes but even then uh, granted they probably had people guys, to i think plan it. there but he wasn't allowed to he didn't tell us until we landed in florence Yeah. Wow. We landed in Florence. We asked the driver, "Where are we going?" He said, "I'm not supposed to tell you that." Nothing. Even and, them. And you only had 42 people at the wedding. Yeah. So wow. Right. Yes. So this was the nice. announce, the announcement, and you know we announced everything, and everyone knew, and there was like a frenzy and prop security, and people had to get in with their cards and stuff like that. Otherwise, you can't enter. So proper top level stuff, and then. we came to bombay to do another celebration for her um industry friends my cricketer friends and then two celebrations so across two celebrations after the Indians, ended man the next Wait, three day, weddings our family said we're so glad you did it in italy <laughs> because they had I, and we said imagine if the main thing happened in india oh, it well. would have been madness. madness they could not handle two celebration parties and then That's when they realized okay what they did was the right thing. Uh, so you're on your honeymoon in Finland. Tell what you do? The coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this. I mean, um we go to Finland. Um we were hoping to see the northern lights but uh we just could not because it was snowing for all three ah, days and That sucks. Um yeah, just 
but we were just fascinated and just taken aback by the whole place. It was pure, like white and snow all over. That's and a bucket so list clean, for me. Like Northern there was Lights. Yeah. No pollution. There was so, you know, so few people around. And then we were like, wow, this place is stunning. Um, you know, beautiful lodge. Then we went to a coffee shop one day in the city center. I was like, feel like having a coffee. It's so cold. You know, coffee would be fun. So we enter the place and I'm like, okay, this is one place in the world where we haven't seen anyone from India yet. And this is amazing. We're not getting, you know, We're secluded. Uh, noticed We're by anyone anonymity. in this pure freedom. Until. And suddenly I look around and I look, you know, in the corner of the coffee shop, there's a, there's a guy, uh, there's a sick guy with a turban. <laughs> and I just looked away and then, you know, I just got my coffee. I was trying to hide from him. <laughs> and I took my coffee, we went and sat on the table and I told Anushka, you know, I saw this guy. And she's like, no way, all the way in Finland. I was like, yeah. And then that guy noticed us and he came to the table. And then he said, um, so good to see you guys. My last name is also Kohli. And I was like, what are the chances of seeing one Indian guy all the way in Finland and yeah. his last name is the same, same as, as his mine. last name? And I was like, man, when are we ever going to go to a place where we don't get noticed? Small before? world. But yeah, that was funny all the way in Finland where we didn't expect anyone to In a little coffee shop. Before. Yeah. Which is a, a lot of reason a lot of people actually come to L.A. Is because almost nobody, one, obviously there's, a, we do have an Indian population here. We oh, have quite, huge. A, quite a few. But a lot of people also just don't care here because there's so many celebrities. Yeah. Everybody's just like, oh yeah, that's that's whoever. Right. That's, it's 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 common in Los Angeles. That's Tom to, Cruise driving in the car right next to me. Yep. It's just, it, nobody, nobody really, locals especially do not care. No. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a, oh, that's, hey, that's cool. Which is probably why Shah Rukh Khan likes spending a lot of time here. Yeah, it, was, uh, it happens all the time. Uh, it, uh, Alexis was at a diner on Ventura Boulevard and she just she took a picture and she said look who's behind me and behind her was Blake Shelton and uh, Gwen Stefani yeah just having breakfast my, my friend was at a coffee shop just last week and Quentin Tarantino was writing something right with two tables down from him yeah just he was like nobody and it, so yeah and, yeah. and in, in addition to that they don't have the same level of notoriety they get a level of anonymity when they come here yeah to a certain extent um, yeah. but obviously for no <laughs> two Indians that are the Probably the most popular cricketer currently in the world, probably at least minimum India. Yeah, uh, that's still playing, and then uh, a, a very popular uh, Bollywood actress. Yeah, <laughs> so they just know if they see an Indian, they're, they're probably gonna, really gonna know who we are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's you're probably just a step down from Shah Rukh Khan in terms of who will know recognizability. Me. <laughs> yeah. Um, if not more, because all of India loves cricket. Yes, not all Indians and the world. probably love so Bollywood. He, they could go to Australia, and he's going to be recognized everywhere he goes. And it's got to be because the whole cricket world knows him. Oh yeah, it's got to be tough. Yeah, uh, it does. I, I remember seeing Harrison Ford in an interview. One of the biggest reasons he's had a problem with fame wasn't because of fame itself. Uh, and and he he said to the interviewer, he said it, it wasn't the loss of privacy as much as it was the loss of anonymity. Yeah. The, the, I can keep my privacy. I can keep a level of privacy in my life. But just to go for a walk. Yeah. Just to go to a grocery store. Nah. As an actor, yeah, he said, as an actor, we love to watch people. And that was taken from me. I couldn't just go sit and watch people because everyone else, I'm like, why are they all watching me? So for him, that was the that's always been the most painful part. Which of, is why he likes flying planes. Yeah, nobody could see. Yeah, nobody could see. Him. He crashes <laughs> exactly again. or helicopters when he's he crashed, saves people. He's crashed two planes <laughs> and saved people with his helicopter. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, you lose. That's it's not the privacy; it's the anonymity. Yeah, these yep. obviously with. Indian celebrities, it's a much more heightened. Oh, uh, wise, wise to do the wedding in in, in Italy, Italy. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, that thing <laughs> would have been. I, I think it'd be funny if like they were here in L.A. They were like, okay, there's no Indians around, and then we walk in, <laughs> and we, we go out and like, you guys, know you who guys we know are? who we are. <laughs> that happens all the time, especially with my tat. Yeah, I'll get looks of, why are, why do you have. How do you know? Remember when I was Uber driving the first year of our channel, mm -hmm. and I'd meet people I was driving who were from India, mm -hmm. and they'd say, what do you do besides driving? And I'd explain. Your and mom? Th the fact that I knew so many things. And, and I said... Sometimes some Indians will think that I'm the brown assistant. <laughs> and, uh, 
or the brown nanny or you yep know, are you rig's brown assistant yes no. jeez well she is brown mommy i am brown mommy for my stepchildren yes they call that's me that's mommy. the hey brown mommy yes <laughs> oh and and alexis has saved my name on her phone as uh the brown bong the brown, brown bong brown nice bong. Bong? A brown bong. I'm a Bengali. Ah. Uh, she's brown a bong, bong girl. I see. I didn't know if it was like bong, weed, bong, water, no, that too. bong, what? Yeah. <laughs> bong, holy. Ooh, if your bong is brown, you need to clean that thing. It gets brown. There's, you can have it bleached. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, let us know what other videos we can react to down below. Just.